Hello, and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today, we're going to be working on the Disney Dollhouse Stage 27. I just, I just knocked something. Stage 27 from um, Hachette. Just double checking. I didn't lose anything here. Oh, I knocked. That's what it was. I knocked this off and still waiting to see if supposedly there's going to be a replacement one coming. But let me get the book open and actually I'll set it out of the way. First thing we're going to have, we're going to do in this video is mount that door, this door right here from the last stage. We've got all the pieces here except this one right here. And then once we get the door mounted, we'll come back, we'll look at these parts and uh, we'll, we'll mount the door on camera. But once we have the door mounted, we'll look at these parts open them and go from there. First thing I need to do is switch the camera that I'm using just like that so that you can see actually where I am putting this door and right now I'm trying to figure out how to have everything where I can reach it. Not going to use super glue. I'm going to go ahead and use um, white glue and the first part we're going to put on here is going to be this right here. I'm going to put some glue on it and you can see there is a hole right there. Probably we'll need to switch back and forth between cameras. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and switch to this one for right now. We're going to put a little bead of glue, white glue on here. not want it to damage the floor if we have to move it. Interesting bit is I'm going to have to reach up underneath here like that to be able to, matter of fact, let's move this camera out of the way until we need it. And then we've got the white and brown door frame here. We've got two of them. The white is going to go on this side here, on the right side, my right side. So we're going to actually let me double check. Yeah, the frames go in first. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. This is actually a little bit tricky in how you have to do this. Gonna put some glue on here, and of course, white white glue going into a white area. I really couldn't see how much was there, so this is gonna go on here like that, and move this one, this camera back over. You can see right here that it captures this frame, this um, base plate in the uh, in the base of the door frame so I'm going to go ahead and put this other one on now and to, to be honest it does not have to be glued because the past few weeks while this has just been sitting over there on a different part of the bench where I keep where I store it it actually has been just sitting there like that. So now you can see it is in there. These parts are in here. They're not gonna come out. The next thing to do is get this pin here and this pin here put into place. The shorter pin goes down into the bottom here. The brown side goes onto this side here. Not difficult to do, I don't think. I gotta find that hole. Okay, that's got the hole. Now I'm gonna switch back over to the other camera because what I have to do is now put the top pin into that hole, slide this in, and glue it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue on here already. Knock that 
loose. So we're gonna get that pin on there. And we're gonna kind of, really what we're doing is we're putting the door in place and we're closing the door frame like that. Then we can open the door back up. And that's and, and it's as simple as that. And then on this other side, there is a hole. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it. Let's see. We'll move that up there. There you go. There's a hole right there. And the pin right here that goes into that hole. So we'll do a little bit of glue around the edges here. And I'm off camera and I know it. Not much I can do about it right now. This is the one part I did not put in yet because I didn't want to have to fight to get this back out when I came to do this stage. So hopefully I can keep from knocking the camera too badly. And there you go. We have the door in place. And this door opens both directions. So let me switch back over to the main camera. I will pause here while I move the house out of the way because there's no room on the bench and other things have to have, have to go on here now. So I will be right back. Okay, so got the book, got the parts on the desk and let's take a look at what we've got. And it was funny because I looked at this and I was like, that can't be that. But let's go through this. We have the a chair from Beauty and the Beast and it is actually cushioned. I'm very impressed by some of the parts that, or the detail parts, I guess you'd call them. And I didn't think this was going to be what it actually is. If I remember right, it says it is a bowl, a toilet bowl. <clears throat> I think it's supposed to be like a sink or something like that, or just a water bowl. And then we have the towel. So let me put this back over top because no reason to take these parts out. Just put them back in there and We'll open them later on when they go into the house. The rest of this is the start of the second floor or the first floor, depending on which side of the ocean you're from. We've got these two parts here. Part four, part A and B, they're going to go together just like this. And I believe that actually is going to go over the Mickey room. So let's go ahead and build this. So we've already done this part here, the first couple of pages here. This is where the, ins the instructions for how we put the uh, door together. Sorry, while I, excuse me while I move my super glue because it's falling out all over the place. And then we start here on the next floor. Get these parts out. And they are they are actually marked with letters. You got part F. Come on, focus. Part D. Part A. Part B, and this, okay, part E. We also have these floor pieces are marked part E and part D. I just want to make sure that I'm not. Okay, so it's going to be this. Oh, okay, never mind. That E. Should the 
these letters show you where your parts actually go. <laughs> so this will go together like this. The first thing they say is to take part A, this part here, apply glue along here, and then put it into these slots right here. And I'm wondering, looking ah okay <laughs> just looking so while the letter is here you put it on here put it on the opposite side of the part Oh, okay. I'm trying to put it in these holes, and it belongs in these holes. Okay, so it's going to go on here like this. These four tabs are going to go into these four holes. <laughs> little bit tight fit just looking it's there we go didn't want to go in at first it's a little bit of an effort to get it to go in there and then a part part of the tab actually just came off shouldn't matter and then there we go that's what the a is for so you got the a here and then you got the a there and i might have to leave this in place because it is really really grab and hold and you can see right there very small damage Getting it down into that hole. Small little bit of damage. Let's go ahead and put some glue on here. But I'm not sure the glue is needed based on how hard that was to get back out. Our little bead all the way down. Sometimes I like to put glue onto the tabs as well because that does lubricate them a little bit, make them go in a little bit easier. Might have been a good idea to maybe sand them down, sand the holes down a little bit. But sounds like something splintered again, but it should be okay. Very thin here. It's sitting up just a hair. So we'll put a clamp on there. It's not, it shouldn't in the long run matter that much. Because I think this just is to, one, to brace it, two, to center it on the house where it's supposed to go. And so we're looking for part B. Part B is going to go over here, on this side, and the B is here, the B is here. Rather than fighting to get it on there and then trying having to get it back off, I'm just going to look at this. And so we have three spots that we're going to be actually putting glue on. Here to here. And across this area here. I'm what I'm doing is I'm avoiding putting a ton of glue where it's not going to actually be in contact with anything right now. Down to this end. And then a little bit right here.
this is actually going to go in a lot easier than part A did because there's very little contact, just two tabs on the entire length of it. So we'll put a clamp here. Here. And since I'm using wood glue, this is probably set up already. Next, we're going for part D. And part D is going to go. Let's see, where's the D? The D is right here. So the D is going to go like this D here and D here. So this is going to go in these three holes like that. So we're just going to put glue down to about here. Just like this. And I'm double checking to make sure I have my letter in the right spot. I could probably I wonder. Let me take a look. That no, doesn't say. I could probably put some glue on the end here where it matches meets up with part A, but I don't think that's needed. Come on. Same with where it meets up here with part B. There we go. And again, probably doesn't need clamps, but I'm all about over clamping everything. And what I'm going to do is clamp these two pieces where they meet just to make sure that it stays pretty even between them. Um, I am looking, it can use a serious clamp right there. I'm gonna hold it for a second. So for right now, we're gonna set this piece aside. That should be good. That's what I want, is the big clamp. That's better. So we're going to move these clamps out of the way. Set this up here. Let's set that aside right there, because now we're going to work on this smaller piece. And this is part or letter E. And again, E and E are going to line up just like that. So let's see, we need a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue here. does not need a ton of glue because it does fit very well. And we'll grab these two clamps just like this. Just move that off of that part there. And now we've, we're going to take part F Part F is going to line up on here, just looking. I'll set this off to the side here. Take a look. Oh, I don't, I'm on the wrong end. That's why it's not looking. I was looking down here and part F does not go there. So 
part F is going to go on here. F here, so the F here is going to go on there. And the key thing is, it is notched out on the back side. There's a notch here and a notch here so that it will actually interlock with these pieces. Turn it over. We're going to put glue here, here, and here on F. Actually, it's probably going to be easier to do the glue on these tabs. Put the glue on there. Put your glue on there. Turn this back over. Turn it around. Make sure we have the F lined up with the F. Line this up. A little bit of push to get it in there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the clamps. Switch them over to here. Actually, let's use the big clamps to hold this together for the moment. So let me make sure, does this, does mine look like theirs? Yes, it does. Important that it looks like theirs, especially with this sticking out back here. So the next thing it's going to, it tells me to do is to apply glue here and here so that this part can go on there. But before I do that, I'm going to let give this a moment to set up. So I'm going to pause the camera and we'll be right back and glue that together. Okay, I am back. Let's remove these clips. This should be dry now. We can remove all the clips. It's been about 10 minutes or so. I went and did other stuff. Might have to scrape that out of there. Actually, it should be okay. It should be okay because you can see down there, same thing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some glue in here. In both of these areas. And then we're gonna set this on top of here like that. I could probably, should probably, I don't know. I could probably, hang on, ah, just saw some spot where I need to get the glue out. Right there. I could probably put some glue along the edge. I don't think it's gonna matter that much. I am going to do is I'm going to clamp down here both of these and then I'm going to take my longer clamps that will actually reach this area and clamp those parts down maybe that's a little bit better Yeah, I need, what I need to do is actually turn this over like this and let it sit there and hope it doesn't glue itself to the bench. But that is all there is to do in this stage. And I actually looked, at, looked here when I got to the end of this stage. This is not the Mickey room. This is actually the uh, kitchen I forget what, who the uh, kitchen is patterned after. I'm going to have to, excuse me, too much coffee. I'm going to have to actually start labeling them as to which, what room is each. But like I said, that's all there is to do in this issue. Hope you're enjoying this. If you are, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of any time I um, post new content. Thank you for stopping by and watching me 
work a little bit on the Disney dollhouse. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow, and I will see you in the next video. Modeling wooden models.